Hey, what's up you guys? What is going on and welcome back to another Rugby Player Reacts to the 2020 NFL Draft video. This is a video series I'm going to be bringing out on my channel every single year. It's the second year, it's the second annual year, it's the second uh, inaugural, no it's not the second inaugural, the inaugural would have been last year. It's the second season that I'm doing this. Last year, April 2019, I reacted to my very first NFL Draft. And I loved it. I enjoyed seeing my favourite picks play out their rookie season. Um, you know, guys like DK Metcalf, guys like Mitch Wisnowski, the kicker from, from the 49ers, and many, many more. Um, of course, I am biased uh, towards my running backs and my either New Zealand or Australian athletes, although I do believe there is not one New Zealander in the NFL right now. And if there is, please let me know because I'll do a video on them. Anyways, guys. There's no time to lose. We're here. It's round number two. We've got a video. It's 16 minutes long. It's called Round Two, Every Pick and Analysis. Eagles take a quarterback, 2020 NFL Draft. In the first round, we saw five quarterbacks taken in total. Or was it four? It was Joe Burrow at the first pick. It was Tua at pick number five. It was Justin Herbert at pick number six. Jordan Love, pick number 25. Jalen Hurts. Actually, come to think of it, he wasn't picked. And if they're saying that the Eagles take a quarterback, the Eagles must have taken Jalen Hurts. But we're going to get into that. Let's go. The 33rd pick in the 2020 draft, the Cincinnati Bengals select T. Higgins, wide receiver, Clemson. Somewhere Zach there you go. was listening to Michael Irvin. Burrow to Higgins, Burrow to Higgins. Here's what you need to know about T. Higgins in his three-year career at Clemson. 27 touchdown catches. Why is that significant? It ties the school record wow. of DeAndre Hopkins and Sammy Watkins, who were both first-round picks. With the 34th pick in the 2020 NFL Draft, the Indianapolis Colts select Michael Pittman, wide receiver, USC. Another wide receiver. Well, just like the first round, we're going to see a lot of wideouts go off the board. And here's what What's you need to Michael USC. Pittman, the name sounds familiar, and Booger alluded to it. His dad was South a Carolina. runner for the Tampa Bay Bucs South California teams, and he was part of a Super Bowl championship squad. With the 34th pick wow. in the 2020 NFL Draft, the Detroit Lions select DeAndre Swift, running back, Georgia. Wow, okay, this is interesting. I like this. Okay, this is an interesting pick here because... Uh, we're going to get into the running backs now. We're going to get into old uh, Taylor. We've got Swift. We've got Acker coming, plus some more. DeAndre Swift, there you go. The second running back off the block to the Lions. DeAndre Swift is a guy who can do a lot of things out of the backfield. He waited his time at Georgia behind a lot of good runners. Hang on. Check out the Detroit Lions depth chart. Get my head around this. You better fucking show me. All right. Roster. Running back, Wes Hills, Jason Huntley, Kieran Johnson, Ty Johnson, Bo Scarborough, and DeAndre Swift. And it looks like Swift will be wearing number seven. Was that the number that he used in college? Let's have a look. Like Nick Chubb and Sony Michelle, with the 36th time, Swift. Okay, this is an pick here because DeAndre Swift is a guy who can do a lot of things out of the backfield. He won 36 pick. Just want to see if he got his, his number. DeAndre Swift was number seven. That's fantastic. In the 2020 NFL Draft. The How good would that be? Going through your college career wearing a number and then being able to continue that into your professional career. It would just feel right, wouldn't it? New York Giants select Xavier McKinney. Defensive back, Alabama. All right, so the X-Man is off the board, which means it's time for another tattoo for Xavier McKinney. He has been doing that since he was six years old. He's got Marvin the Martian, the Minions. He's got a bunch of things on there. Now he's going to have to have a New York Giants Did you just say that this well. guy got a tattoo when he was six? 
the 2020 NFL Draft, the New England Patriots select <laughs> Patriots. Kyle Duggar, defensive back, Lenore Ryan. Haven't seen the Patriots yet. Lenore Ryan, stand up. Kyle Duggar is off the board. It's the first time an NFL team has selected a Division II safety in the first three rounds since the Bears took Daniel Manning out of Abilene. 42-inch vertical leap. In 2006. <laughs> With the 38th pick in the 2020 NFL incredible. Draft, the Carolina Panthers select Detour Gross Matos, defensive end, Penn State. What? Uh, Yitor Gross Matos led the team at Penn State with nine and a half sacks and 15 tackles for loss. He was the first Are you reading this stuff? All Big Ten selection by the coaches and the media. But the things that he has had Gross to deal with Gross uh, through a very, very start, young start in his life is absolutely incredible. With the 39th Gross pick Matos. in the 2020 NFL Draft, what a legend. the Miami Dolphins select Robert Hunt, tackle, Louisiana Lafayette. Well, there he is, Robert Second Hunt is temple of the off draft. the board, and Robert Hunt is a fascinating prospect here. Because Robert Hunt, in the last two seasons, allowed a total of five quarterback pressures and 574 pass blocks. He did not have a single blown block on any oh, of his wow. 216 oh, rushes this is in the, the last guy you two want. seasons. With the 40th pick in the 2020 NFL Draft, the Houston Texans select Ross Blacklock, defensive tackle, TCU. All right, Ross Blacklock is a very interesting story as he's awaiting to hear the news officially that he is off the board. Played at TCU. The advisory board told him to go yeah, back to school Ross. for one more year, but he says, I'm going to trust my instincts out of Missouri City, Texas. The Cleveland Browns have traded the 41st pick to the Indianapolis Colts. We're the 41st pick in the 2020 NFL Draft. The Indianapolis Colts select Jonathan Taylor. Running back, Wisconsin. Jonathan Taylor is a fascinating is. player. Came out of New Here he is. Pick number 41 in the 2020 NFL Draft. A second round pick. Mid-second rounder. Going to the Indianapolis Colts. Jonathan Taylor. Running back. Oh, I'm so excited to see this guy play, man. Jersey, where he broke... Another former Badger running back's high school rushing record. He almost... Hang on, what is the Doak Award? I have to jog my memory. What is the top running back in college football? Wow. <laughs> Two-time Doak Walker Award winner. Did no one... Did, 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 did no teams need a running back? What the fuck happened here? Harvard as a philosophy major. With the 47... What? Where he broke another former Badger running back's high school rushing record. He I have to watch this guy's highlights actually. So we'll just put that in there. He played for, who did he play for? No, Wisconsin, Wisconsin, Wisconsin. Okay, I'll try not to get too distracted and let's continue. Went to Harvard as a philosophy major with the 42nd pick. The Bro, are you telling me that the Jaguars were one pick away from getting Jonathan Taylor? 2020 NFL Draft. The Jacksonville Jaguars select LaVisca Chenault, wide receiver, Colorado. Duval, stand up, because LaVisca Chenault I'm still going to be a Jags fan a this year, so this guy to happen. How do I know that? The first is going to be my guy. He touched the ball in a game at Colorado as a freshman. He picked up a fumble punt and took it 55 yards to the house against Texas State. Now, with the 43rd pick in the 2020 NFL Draft. Hang on. That kid chose Colorado over Alabama and LSU. And he probably got way more looks, way more game time for doing that. And lo and behold, still makes the NFL. That was a great choice, my friend. Great choice. Texas State now with the 43rd pick in the 2020 NFL Draft. The Chicago Bears select Cole Komet. Tight end, Notre Dame. Well, the tight ends are going to be coming off the board, and no surprise that Cole Komet is one of the first ones. He put on a show at the Combine, ran a 4.740, tying for second with a 10-foot, 3-inch broad jump. He said, I want to do the things necessary to show I'm the top tight end of the draft. And he's the latest in a long line of Notre Dame tight ends. With the 44th pick in the 2020 NFL Draft, Cleveland Browns select Grant Delpit, 
Defensive back, LSU. All right, so Grant Delpit is off the board, and he's finally there. He is going to go to the Cleveland Browns. By the way, this is the second straight year that the Cleveland Browns have taken LSU's defensive back. Maybe Jamal. He does look like Jamal, actually. They also got corner. There's been a couple of guys that have looked like Jamal Adams. He must have a very recognizable face. The Tampa Bay Buccaneers select Antoine Winfield. Defensive back, Minnesota. Cheers, Roger. Okay, this is kind of strange. We've had four safeties go off here in the second round. My God, look at the size of this house, bro. That looks incredible. Xavier McKinney. And then the Patriots took... Kyle Duggar, who just had Cleveland take Grant Telpit, and now Antoine Winfield Jr. is off the board. I could be wrong, but I think they're a little happy about this in the Woodlands, Texas, too, which man. is where he's from. Again, Antoine Winfield, a unanimous All-American. We're the 46th pick in the 2020 NFL Draft. Roger, turn around, man. Select KJ Hamler, wide receiver, Penn State. Okay, they are clearly surrounding their quarterback, Drew Locke, who they took in the second round last year out of Missouri with some weapons. They got Jerry Judy in the first round, and now, Lewis, they get K.J. Hamler, who all he did his freshman year breaks Saquon Barkley's all-purpose uh, yardage mark with the 47th pick. He went to Penn State. 2020 NFL Draft. What did he do? All he did his freshman year breaks Saquon Barkley's all-purpose uh, yardage mark. That's f pretty impressive, isn't it? With the 47th pick in the 2020 NFL Draft, the Atlanta Falcons select Marlon Davidson. Defensive tackle, Auburn. Although just mentioning that record before, it does seem as though, you know, basically every player that makes it into the NFL goes through college, makes it to the NFL. They've, they've all got at least like some school record. You know, whether that be in high school or, or college, they've usually got, you know, at least one or two school records. Touchdowns, touchdowns thrown, yards, receptions, something. Sacks, tackles, tackles for loss, fumbles. No, not fumbles, that'd be bad. Fumble recoveries. Well, Marlon Davidson teamed up with Derek Brown to put together an absolutely impressive defensive line for the Auburn Tigers and Gus Melton and Kevin Steele, their defensive coordinator. He had an opportunity to jump and enter the draft last year following his third year as it started. The New York Jets have traded the 48th pick to the Seattle Seahawks. With the 48th pick in the 2020 NFL Draft. Sorry guys, uh, there's something I need to do and I haven't been doing it so far. And I really, really apologize. So, if you just give me one second. We can now continue. Seattle Seahawks select Daryl Taylor. Defensive end, Tennessee. Defensive end. All right, he played outside linebacker at Tennessee. Had eight and a half sacks as a red shirt senior. Six, and four, 267 pounds. DJ, one of the only three balls ever in a four sack game. Let's have a look at this. Yeah, somebody that was hurt this year, when you go back to 2018, you see the get off right here, the explosiveness that he had. The 49th pick. The Isn't that interesting? He's the same height as the man that he bet. It's just he can move so much quicker. Look at the guy he's yeah, going up against. Look, they're literally like the same height. It's just we can clearly see which, which guy is, is going to be more agile, which guy is slighter. And what happens? Sure, you go back to he gets straight round. Stays on his feet really well. Gets to the quarterback. And you see the get off right here. The explosiveness he has. The 49th pick in the 2020 NFL Draft. Pittsburgh Steelers select Chase Claypool. Wide receiver, Notre Dame. Steelers. All right, Chase Claypool went from Abbotsford, Bristol. Bro, where's Antonio Brown going to end up this year? And now he's going to the confluence of the three rivers, the Ohio, the Allegheny, and the Monongahela. Chase Claypool had a play. really, really strong combine, but he grew up in Abbotsford, British Columbia, with the 50th pick in the 2020 NFL Draft. The Chicago Bears select Jalen Johnson, defensive back, Utah. 
so Jalen Johnson is now off the board, and he was a very interesting story. Found out after the season, he played the entire year at Utah with a torn labor. He had a tackling drill that went awry in camp early on, but he stayed and decided to play through the entire season. Wow. With the 51st pick in the 2020 draft. Thank God you did, man. Now you're the 50th pick in the 2020 draft. Trayvon Diggs, defensive back, Alabama. All right, so the Cowboys thought they might go defensive back in the first round. Instead, C.D. Lamb fell to him, and now Trevon Diggs, the younger brother of Stephon Diggs, is going to be a member of the Dallas Cowboys. By the way, the first ever NFL game Get excited, Diggs get excited, to, man. It was the Minneapolis Miracle game with the 52nd pick. Hang on, is that Stephon's brother? And his first NFL game he ever attended was the Minneapolis Miracle. Can you believe that? Two, it was the Minneapolis Miracle game with the 52nd pick in the 2020 NFL Draft. Los Angeles Rams select Cam Akers. Right Running back. Florida State. Well, this is interesting because remember, they just moved on from Todd Gurley and they're getting someone who's on a very things that have been accomplished at Florida State as a running back. He's just the third Seminole to have multiple thousand yard rushing seasons. We're the 53rd pick in the 2020 NFL Draft. Quarterback. The Eagles select Galen Hurts, quarterback, Oklahoma. Well, it just got interesting, ladies and gentlemen, <laughs> as Jalen Hurts is going to Doug Peterson. Look at him, he's just chilling. He's just chilling on the couch with mom. And that Philadelphia offense and there are a million ways this can go. Jalen Hurts has barely been two completely different quarterbacks. With the 54th pick in the 2020 NFL Draft, the Buffalo Bills select A.J. Epinesa, defensive end, Iowa. So A.J. Epinesa goes to what is already going to be a very, very good defense. And this was a kid who was one of the first five-star recruits to go to Iowa for a while and sat for a while. With the 55th pick in the 2020 NFL Draft, the Baltimore Ravens select J.K. Dobbins, running back, Ohio State. Well, we'll wait a few seconds. Hold on a sec. <clears throat> Knew I'd be able to do this eventually. Just to see if this Let's try that again. Running back, Ohio State. The Baltimore Ravens select J.K. Dobbins, running back, Ohio State. Well, we'll wait a few seconds to see if this gets the official Mel Kiper Jr. seal of approval, but it should. Did you like that? J.K. Dobbins is the first Buckeye back in school history to rush for a thousand or more yards Let's as a freshman, sophomore, and junior. Also became the first running back ever in school history to rush for <clears> 2,000 <throat> yards. With the 56th pick in the 2020 NFL Draft, the Miami Dolphins select Raekwon Davis, defensive tackle, Alabama. All right, Raekwon Davis was a very, very productive player, Booger, at Alabama. What is the what are the Miami Dolphins getting in someone that has been through the Nick Saban system? With the 57th pick in the 2020 NFL Draft, the Los Angeles Rams select Van Jefferson, wide receiver, Florida. Well, it certainly seems like we have a ton of draftees. Do you reckon Old Rogers getting annoyed with, with all the, the cheers NFL in the background? Lineage. He's from Brentwood, Tennessee. Started his career at Old Miss, then transferred to Florida. But by the way, father, Sean, wide receiver for 13 years in the NFL. With the 58th pick in the 2020 NFL Draft. Now, whenever I hear of a player having family connections to the NFL, I always think, the first thing is a sense of jealousy. I'm not going to lie, it really is. It's like, fuck man, you've got, you're going to have every opportunity given to you to make it. And then my second thought is, no, you know what? These guys have all worked their asses off their entire lives. They deserve to be there on their own accord. And my third thought is just, how fucking cool is that? A father and a son playing professional football in the same league. There's not, much, there's not many things cooler than that in life, I don't think. Now, I use the word cool because, you know, a game, any game of sport is, is not everything. But it is pretty cool. And stories like this make it all the better. 
The Minnesota Vikings select Ezra Cleveland. The tackle, Boise State. Well, pretty much the opposite of the wide receiver. It is an offensive lineman, and it is Ezra Cleveland. And I'm going to tell Look, you guys, something. I'm going to be honest, man. There's probably been there's probably been like four white guys in this whole entire first and second round. Like, I'm just observing. I'm just observing. Okay, I'm not saying anything. <laughs> I'm just being honest. <laughs> Significant as he just got the news, the former Boise State left tackle started the last three seasons. Uh, I want to see Jake Fromm get the, drafted. The New York Jets pick in the 2020 NFL draft. The Jets like Denzel Mims, wide receiver, Baylor. The Baylor Bear is finally off the board. Yeah, Mimsy. Mims is going to be the new target for Sam Darnold to throw to. Remember, they lost Robbie Anderson, their big play wide receiver, in free agency. Again, this is a guy who is fast at 4-3-8-4. was third most among wide receivers. The Baltimore Ravens have traded the 60th pick to the New England Patriots. With the 60th pick... In the 2020 NFL Draft, the New England Patriots select Josh Uche, linebacker, Michigan. So Josh Uche, linebacker from Michigan, is now off the board. And if you think Give about him a it, hug, Dad. Give this him a hug. is a very, Give him a pat on very the back, bro. Patriot <laughs> kind of pick, as everybody is happy with yes. the 61st pick in the 2020 NFL Draft. The Tennessee Titans select... Christian Fulton, defensive back, LSU. So Christian Fulton, another member of that LSU secondary that has been so draftable over the years is now off the board. Now he had his issues at LSU. He was slapped with a two-year ban at one point. What? With the 60 second. I gotta look that up. Two-year ban? In college football, and he makes the NFL. He's 21. Oh no, he had a year long suspension. 2020 NFL draft. Christian Fulton uses suspension as motivation. Fulton sits at number 43 in network draft analyst Daniel Jeremiah's ranking of the top 150. Okay, so he went like number 60 and he was ranked number 43. Fulton was called K Baby by older teammates when he arrived in Baton Rouge. Okay, so this is an interview with him about how he started. Fulton received a two-year suspension from the NCAA for having someone else provide urine for a PED test sample. Fulton said that he'd used marijuana two days prior, thought he would be caught, and then tried to tamper with the test. He set out all of 2017, practicing with the team, but was reinstated before the 2018 season. Okay, so he played a full two seasons after that. Good shit, brother is now off the board. Now, he had his issues at LSU. He was slapped with a two-year ban at one point with the 62nd pick in the 2020 NFL Draft. Green Bay Packers select A.J. Dillon, running back, Austin College. Well, I think Aaron Rodgers will be okay with this pick, ladies and gentlemen, because he gets himself a Wait. skill position Whoa. player and A.J. Dillon skillfully rewrote oh. the record book for running back. <laughs> okay, back. it's this guy here. I thought it was the guy standing up. I was like, I don't remember seeing him. ...at Boston College. <laughs> he left the program there with career rushing I remember seeing this yards, guy at the combine. Rushing yards... Oh my god, 131 inch broad jump. Is that 10... 10 feet 11? And a 41 inch vertical. And I think he ran a 4.5. 40 yard dash. Purpose yards, rushing touchdowns, and total touchdowns. The 63rd pick in the 2020 NFL Draft, the Kansas City Chiefs select Willie Gay, linebacker, Mississippi State. Willie Gay. Here you go, Chiefs. All right, so it is a linebacker, Willie Gay, but has some off-field issues. He was suspended eight games by the NCAA for academic violations. Uh, nine other Mississippi State players were also suspended part of that. Academic then, violations. Let's see what that was. Willie Gay Jr. Suspension. Everyone loves a bit of gossip. Academic fraud, it says. There's been a lot made of Mississippi State linebacker Willie Gay Jr.'s off-field issues, including an eight-game suspension for academic fraud. 
and an alleged fight that injured the Bulldogs' starting quarterback before a bowl game. But the Chiefs were willing to look past those concerns, in part because of Andy Reid's relationship with and faith in the recommendation of Gay's former coach, Dan Mullen, and spent a second round pick on him Friday in the 2020 NFL Draft. And that's what we just saw. And he injured Mississippi State quarterback Garrett Schrader in practice in a fight before the Music City Bowl. That, according to multiple media reports, the Seattle Seahawks have traded the 64th pick to the Carolina Panthers. With the 64th pick in the 2020 NFL Draft, the Carolina Panthers select Jeremy Chin, defensive back, Southern Illinois. Jeremy Saluki, Chin. Stand up. Carbondale, Illinois is on the board as Chin Jeremy is Chin an interesting is the name, highest isn't it? Southern Illinois football player drafted since Terry Taylor won in the third round of the Seahawks in 1984. Mel, this was one of your gems in this draft. Oh, I was ready to hear some information on him. All right, guys. That's that. That's round number two. In the next video, we've got round number three. I'm assuming they did round number two and three on the same day, and then they do four, five, and six on the third day. So we're gonna to continue to round number three. Following that, we're gonna to listen to a little bit of analysis on what we've seen, and then we'll continue to round number four. So with that being said, I hope you've enjoyed. If you are, hit the like button. If you're not, I really shouldn't give you that option. If you like the video, hit the like button. If you wanna see more, please subscribe. And with that being said, guys, I'll see you back here for round number three. Peace out.